when I started at UT Southwestern, I was kind of tasked with developing the FEC curriculum and um, working on getting all of our residents FES certified, um, which is something that was um, new to me. Again, I have no disclosures. Um, so I think a couple of the key things to discuss is that FLS um, is similar to, FES, sorry, is similar to FLS, but they're not exactly the same. Um, and that the FES assessment is kind of the first of its kind. Um, we talked about um, what the components of FES and the examination are, so I'm not gonna review those. Um, how is it different from FLS? I think that's really important in that the residents, unlike FLS, cannot train on the modules um, uh, that the FES exam, um, that they'll see during the examination, and that there's no officially endorsed um, curriculum um, supported by FES or FEC, um, and as mentioned before, really up to the institution um, and the program um, to do it how they think. And mentioned before, how everybody needs um, to achieve FES certification um, starting in 2018 to sit for their boards. So at UT Southwestern, we have the largest residency program, 13 residents a year. Um, so it's a lot to get um, everybody through the curriculum and get them ready for FES. Um, when I started, I kind of thought about what do we have? Um, so what are the resources available? Um, where is the closest FES testing center, I think is important, and how long it takes to get our residents there. Fortunately, we have one at our center. Um, what models are available for our residents to train on? Um, and what's the clinical experience? So the things I thought about in terms of how to put together um, our FES um, certification plan. Um, and then to look at what the FEC um, states uh, and to make sure that there's a dedicated endoscopy rotation. And then how is it gonna be implemented and what's the time to completion? And I think everybody's kind of said the goal should really be, I think by the end of third year um, to have um, the residents FES certified. What the clinical and simulation experience is gonna be, and I think that's different for each program, depending on where you are, what you have available, and also what the remediation plan is gonna be if your resident um, is not able to pass on the first go. Um, so again, we have kind of a two-part, one month prior um, to their flexible endoscopy rotation um, requirements um, for them to um, complete um, step two bench models and to test a proficiency on this. Um, and we found that on, on average, based on our study from last year, that it takes the residents about three hours, an hour on each of the models um, to be able to achieve um, proficiency and pass the FES exam and then the one month dedicated GI um, endoscopy rotation. Kind of reviewed um, the three models that we use. Um, I'll stop at the loop reduction model, because um, in the study that we did, most importantly, we found that um, with proficiency training um, and gaining proficiency that our residents were able to improve their skill sets um, for each of the tasks except for the loop reduction. And if you talk to the residents, um, the majority of them did not like this model, um, did not think that it trained them well, and the majority, greater than 70% of the residents, felt like they needed um, more skills training on loop production um, prior to the exam. Um, and as um, stated before, we're fortunate enough to have a GI mentor and that our residents are able um, to do upper and lower scape um, cases on this, um, but again, that these are not the FES tasks and skills um, that are looked at. And a focus on the PGY four year, again, the two stage, one month prior to the rotation, and then the um, flexible endoscopy rotation. And then the objectives really um, at the core are to complete the FES didactic curriculum online, which our residents on average, um, based on surveys we did, took them about three hours to test a proficiency on the step two models. And again, that took them about three hours. So a total of six and kind of training and preparation from a simulation standpoint. Um, for FES, continue um, self-study on the GI mentor, um, achieve their case numbers, and then to take their FES assessment exam at the end of the endoscopy rotation. And as um, mentioned before, to have a plan for remediation for those residents that are unable to pass, um, which I kind of stated um, 
earlier. And then those good resources. And again, um, the webinar that was done, I think is a really important resource for the residents to get an idea of what the exam looks like ahead of time, um, since they don't know the specific tasks or skills um, prior to. Thank you so much.